now what are the evidences which supports that yeah the kind of the organic evolution might have done so first is the geographic evolution right when we talk about the geographic distribution so we all know that the uh there was when the earth started forming we had already discussed about the origin of the universe and in that we have seen that the earth was uh, uh, arise in the form of the supercontinent of pangaea about 200 million years ago and thereafter there was a distribution of it and it was break up then it forms the Uh, from the supercontinent it formed the various continent that was formed over the world which got separated by the ocean now see only when earth was there it was there was no such issues but what happened when uh, the earth was formed that pangaea was formed so that particular time the environment was very hot so there was no uh, water was there means only the hot soup which was uh, held in soup was there although there were ocean but what happened when the oxidizing environment came uh, the temperature reduced temperature cooled down so that particular time children uh, this particular earth that was broken into the continents so the supercontinent has been broken into the two uh, gondwana and the laurasia and thereafter uh, slowly slowly more and more pieces has become and then all seven continent formed so this kind of isolation led to the presence of certain species over the world which got separated by the ocean understood so uh, individually the evolution was occurring that's why we can see that there uh, there are different type of organism on the different type of continent you will not find many organism in our area which you will find into the australia africa now our elephant you will find are quite different from the african elephant right what is the reason because the, because of the ocean they did not migrate so uh, and they got the divergent evolution means because of that they evolved on that particular places only so over the period of time all because of the divergent evolution ancestor and newly emerged organism they observe as the proof right uh, example simple example if you will find the simple example is the marsupials of australia right uh, do you observe the marsupials anywhere else no we find most of the marsupials in the australia now this marsupial marsupial means the organism which possesses the pocket and in this pocket they uh, nourish their young ones and all these marsupials have evolved from a common ancestor that is methyl metatherian metatherian are the ancestor which continue to exist today with the diverse species now what are the species of the metatherian kangaroos are there then wallabies opossums then koala bear etc so it is observed that all this organism they have confined to the uh, australia only why because of the geographical isolation they are uh, they isolated they all isolated from the ocean now second is the paleontology what do you mean by the paleontology paleontology is a science which deals with the fossils i repeat paleontology is the science which uh, deals with the fossils now who is the father of paleontology the father of the paleontology is the leonardo leonardo vinci in the year 1942 to 1519 now george cuvier he established the modern paleontology and he was known as the founder of modern paleontology so father of paleontology these two things can be uh, asked for your mcq purpose the one is who is the father of paleontology So Leonardo da Vinci is the father of paleontology and the founder of paleontology modern paleontology is the George Cuvier 
now uh, what do we mean by the fossils so fossils are the remain of the plants and animals which lives in the past of the earth now why we trust and why we are uh, studying this particular topic paleontology in the uh, evolution because paleontology is a very reliable source of organic evolution why the first reason fossils are the remain of the actual organism which were lived into the past then second various body part of the organism found in the preserved under sea beds rock soil this all provide the information regarding the development and evolution of the organism we can now uh, know the type of organism found on the earth at various eras by studying the age of rocks we can re uh, relate the age which fossils are found in the different strata now see there are various type of fossils but how to uh, relate that this fossil might have arisen in which so there are two type of dating system the first is the carbon dating second uh, type of dating system is uh, your this uh, rock dating okay so now see uh, rock dating we, we will discuss first in that what they do uh, they find uh, it is not there in your part of syllabus but you must know the how they relate that how many years before this particular organism might have arisen so first uh, uh, fossil dating they are doing as per the rock strata means they find that it is present in this strata so uh, there is the general idea that so and so time is taken place for the formation of this much of the strata of the rock so this uh, gives the idea that fossil is present in this layer that means this is uh, this many years old so this is the general idea carbon dating the human sorry the animal they possess the carbon 14 in the body in 1s to 1 carbon 14 to carbon 12 1s to 1 ratio and this started depleting after the death of the organism so they find that how much uh, carbon 14 is present in the body of the fossil so with that they relate the Uh, dating. So this is the absolute or more scientific dating. Now we will talk about the type of fossils. Now there are various type of fossils which are, are categorized as entire organism, petrification, cast or move, compression, impression. All this we will discuss one by one in detail. And uh, now see this is all. Fossil is the preserved remain of one. living organism now fossil give us the clue about the organism that lived long ago they help to show the evolution has occurred they provide the evidence about how our surface change over the time not only this fossil help scientific understanding what past environment might have been like means uh, we all have already studied that organism adapt their surrounding so if there are certain changes in the organism uh that means the fossil organism so we can relate that this fossil is so and so years old that means so and so years old the environment might be this kind that's why this organism is having this type of the feature understand so uh, uh, we can relate their body parts with the organism uh, organism's environment now entire fossils when we talk about so the this are the whole organism complete organism who lived about 50000 years ago at the cold snowy part so uh, their remains are present now why the entire organism is there because they were uh, buried into the snow rocks and because of that their flesh does not completely decay and this Uh, snow rocks preserve their body entire body like that then second type is the petrification fossils now this particular organism which i have shown is the petrified fossil which is uh, found into the chicago museum which then tyrannosaurus is there now petrified means turning into the stone 
this particular type of fossils only hard remain of organism get preserved while the soft part decay now it does not mean uh, whatever hard part we are observing is the bones it is not bones it is the minerals which replace the all part of an organism understand water is full of dissolved minerals it seeps out of the layer of the sediment which reaches to the dead organism and when water evaporates only hardened minerals are left behind so because of that this particular fossils are the hard fossils and it just look like the skeleton of the organism now next is the mold and cast type of fossil so this mold or cast are just impression this are left due to the burning of the organism under high pressure understand now you can see uh, this is the mold mold is what this is only the impression of a shell which was there and this particular shell might have dissolved completely in the environment now cast you, whatever you are observing is only the imprint of that particular organism and that organism has completely dissolved into the surrounding and only its impression is there right now compression compression is possible only in the plant fossils which were outline of the thin carbon film of the internal structure of plant body which was preserved into the sedimentary rock so this particular type of fossil can be seen into the uh, sedimentary rock and this type of fossils are possible only and only in the case of the plants now next is the imprints imprint is uh, also called as the impression type of the fossil so these are the simple type of fossil uh, which just give idea about the footprints due to the hard pressure exerted by the foot of the heavy animals so this particular uh, a shallow print or it could be a complete impression so now why uh, it is been formed it is formed because of the animal track body outline if animal is sitting for a long time leaf prints and grooves made by the fish bone so this is the idea or the type of the fossil next lecture we all will be talking about the anatomical evidences which supports or which proves the evolution